Hey guys, today I am going to be doing the 50 facts about me tag. I saw this video on YouTube trending a couple years back and I figured since I'm still at the beginning of my channel then this would be a great way for you guys to get to know me a little bit more and um, just a fun way for me to share some interesting things about me that not many people in my life know about. And I feel like after this video, you guys will definitely know me a little more because 50 facts is a lot. Okay, so first one is I am an only child. I don't have any brothers or sisters. It is only me. I was born in Canada. As a child, I was obsessed with The Little Mermaid. She was my favorite character and I hoped and dreamed that I one day would become a mermaid myself. <laughs> I know that is very, very silly, but I wished every morning that when I woke up, I would remove the covers off of my bed and I would somehow have fins. I know, crazy. <laughs> when I was a kid, I went on a go-kart actually with my dad so my dad was the driver and I was in the passenger seat and my hair was super long I think it was way past my hips and it got it almost got caught in the wheel of the go-kart because I was in the passenger seat and I was like leaning over I was like woo having a blast and because I leaned over, my hair was over the go-kart and it was like a smidget away from the wheel. I just remember looking over and my mom was on the side with her hands like this and the guy who, the employee who was also running the go-kart area at the time was trying to like wave at me to tell me like, hey, get your hair inside the cart. So that would have ended up really bad. This is a really funny story that I will never forget. When I was a kid, I think I was around like nine years old, I went to Disney World and I went on all of the roller coasters there. None of them scared me. And one of them that I went on was the, I think it was the Hard Rock rock and roller coaster and if anyone has ever been on it you know that the takeoff is super fast so typically roller coasters take off at normal speed but this one you're in a car so as soon so there's like there's traffic lights so it goes from red yellow green and as soon as the light turns green the ride just zoom it just takes off super fast and it really takes you by surprise because that's how fast it is and at nine years old at nine years old i definitely did not expect that so as it took off funny story i lost one of my adolescent teeth and i didn't know what to do with it for the whole ride because usually when you lose a tooth you know there's some blood and stuff so sorry if that grosses anyone out but I just didn't know what to do so I just kept it in my mouth the entire ride and I didn't scream I didn't say anything I was just like keeping it in my mouth and then as soon as the ride ended I was so excited to tell everybody I was like everybody mom dad uncle yeah that ride was awesome but funny story I have a tooth in my mouth so yeah that's an interesting fact about me as a kid, I thought that the hazard lights in your car, because it is shaped like a triangle, I thought that that meant that if you click the button, that your car will take off in the sky. One of my obsessions growing up was anime. I used to be in a band with my cousins. I wanted to try out for my high school cheerleading squad, but I was too shy and I didn't do it. I went to college and university and I graduated. I have a degree in ECE, which is Early Childhood Education, and I also have a teaching degree. 
I volunteered with school-aged children. I helped them learn how to grow their own food. That was really fun. I failed my driver's test really bad. Literally, I was in the car for maybe less than two minutes and I failed it. I learned how to swim in Mexico. I speak English fluently. I can speak a little bit of Portuguese and I understand Portuguese completely. I can speak a little bit of Spanish and I understand a little bit of Spanish or majority of Spanish because Portuguese and Spanish is very similar and I grew up watching Spanish soap operas so that is also what helped me learn. I don't know how to ice skate but that is something that I've always wanted to learn how and I still would like to learn. I used to have a blonde hair and I completely fried it. I almost crashed my mom's Cadillac into a tree. I didn't like sushi the first time I tried it. I almost threw up actually. Just the texture of everything together in the same bite weirded me out and the different flavors. So I didn't like it the first time, but now I love sushi. I was vegetarian for about three years. I grew up Catholic, but now I am a Christian. In school, I played the clarinet and the piano but two instruments that i've always loved to play is the guitar and the drums i like to paint for fun i love to cook and to bake i have a bad habit of picking the skin around my nails especially if my nail polish starts to chip so if i have a fresh manicure on i typically don't pick at my skin at all but as soon as I see the first little chip of nail polish that is when my bad habit begins. I'm 5'3 in height so I think that's a pretty average height. I feel like some people may find that kind of short but I like it. My ideal dream house used to be on a farm so I used to want to live in the country and have my own farmhouse and actually have my own farm on the side with animals. I wanted goats and cows and have my own chickens to have my own eggs, fresh eggs and milk and all of that. But Michael does not want that. And the more we spoke about it, I feel like farm living is a lot of work. So I feel like over the years, slowly my ideal dream house has shifted a little bit and although i like that still now i would say my ideal dream is a beach house with a beautiful big wraparound porch overlooking the water i think that is beautiful and that would be amazing i appreciate classic cars more than modern cars I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm an old soul sometimes, and by that I mean I just, I like things from years ago. I like thrifting, I like antiques, I love the fashion from like the 1940s that we see in the notebook, the way that they used to dress, the way that they used to talk, carry themselves. I just, I don't know, I like all that. My two favorite romance movies, or my two favorite movies of all time, is definitely The Notebook and Titanic. For all of my birthdays growing up, my parents always got me ice cream cake. I used to hate pineapple on my pizza. I thought that people who put something sweet on pizza were just odd but Michael loves pineapple on his pizza and he got me into it and now I cannot have pizza without it. I have gone swimming with dolphins and stingrays. I got to pet an elephant at a safari. In Portugal, when I visited back home a couple years ago, I got to milk my own cow, which was so fun. I have family that have their own 
farm there and they have cows and other animals and that was so cool to see the process of it and it was just so weird it's just not something that you typically get to do so that was really really interesting i don't like wearing big purses if you know me you know that you will rarely ever catch me wearing a big purse i just like something very lightweight and easy to carry which is usually always a crossbody so my purses are typically always a crossbody they're just so easy they don't fit a lot because they are smaller but i just don't typically carry a lot with me anyways so it's usually just my cell phone maybe a chapstick keys and some other stuff that i might need i'm not a fan of wearing socks now i do wear socks in boots and specific shoes if i need to but as soon as i get home i take them right off and i definitely cannot sleep with socks either i need to sleep with a blanket always even if it is super hot i just i need to feel the blanket somewhere i either have it on my feet or maybe on one leg or another way that i love sleeping with my blanket is i roll it up and i tuck it underneath my cheek and to me that is so comfortable i love coffee both iced and hot the only soda i usually drink is root beer i have a huge sweet tooth i married my best friend and my soulmate I'm a mom to a beautiful little boy. I would like to have more kids, God willing. I would like to have mm, like two boys and two girls. But Michael says that one more is enough, but we will see. I have a really bad habit of keeping water bottles everywhere in my room, especially my nightstand. So what I do is I will drink a bottle, but I always leave just a tiny bit at the end of the bottle and i never want to throw it out because i always think i'm gonna need to drink it later or i can keep it for the middle of the night if i wake up and i'm thirsty instead of going to the kitchen i just have water readily available in a bottle but the problem is i never i either never drink it or i take too long to actually drink it so i keep accumulating bottle after bottle and then I have a nice collection. I prefer going to drive-in theaters rather than normal movie theaters. I love old style diners. My mom and I are always mistaken for being sisters. Some of the things that I miss from growing up in the 90s is Tamagotchi pets. If you guys had those, let me know in the comments anybody was into those because i know in the 90s they were a big thing but i didn't see too many people with them old school nintendo mp3 players for listening to music those were the best old school cassettes and old phones with a cord that you would have to be attached to a wall sorry i actually miscalculated one of the facts so the 50th fact about me is that i'm actually a little scared of escalators and elevators i know that's kind of strange especially at someone that is my age but i don't know what it is i guess i can kind of understand the elevator but i guess with escalators i get nervous if my foot gets stuck <laughs> let me know if anybody else out there feels the same way especially if you are 30 like me those are 50 facts about me i hope that was interesting i hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me please let me know in the comments some interesting facts about you i would love to know some things about you guys and if you haven't done so already please like this video give it a thumbs up Subscribe and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.